on my folding rods, paint thinner, paint thinner. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Should be able to, I think. And the paint. And here comes Duke over there on the road in the background. He's going to want some money today. They're finishing the concrete work here, so we owe them a house payment now. Boxes of screws and chop saw blades. All right, I'm not going to bore you with unloading a truck. We've seen that enough. All right, so the roof crew ain't messing around. They uh, got it unloaded, and they're ready to start painting already. Those of you who don't know, they'll paint all these to keep them from rusting. Looks like we get gray. I'd rather see a red or something so it's easy to tell in this spot, but I'm not going to complain as long as they're painting. So the roof crew, um, the estimate is three weeks. And after three weeks, these guys will be back. They boarded up their shack there and uh, took off. And they'll be back in three weeks. The roof team started painting the beams. And boss man jumped up there and started putting the plates on top. Um, if you haven't heard me talk about these before, basically the steel will set on top of there. I mentioned they went around and put marks on these columns right here. And then he'll just measure up there on every one of them to set the height for that column so they're all the same. Get this camera up there to see it. So he'll just set those plates on top of every one of those. will measure from that mark up and set them on that top of every pole. And then just lay the steel across there to make basically like the foundation for the roof structure. And the fence team is setting the poles. As I said, I think they'll put the, run the poles all the way down and then put the beam in all of them at one time. And as with the ones over here, saying they'll do the same thing. They'll get these set and they'll just dump concrete on top of them to tie them into their footing. So they won't go anywhere. They'll bury them and then they'll put the steel in to make the beam. Oh, wait a minute. They don't have enough poles. One, two, three, four. They're missing five poles. So boss man's probably going to bring the other five later. So once they get these, this corner set, then they're probably on break for a while. Unless they're going to go ahead and concrete those ones in before the boss gets here. Day one for the roof team. They have already got all the plates put on top of all the poles, except the ones out over the outdoor area. I'm not sure if they'll do that now or they'll get this roof done and then do that later because that is actually... It's actually going to tie into the side of these columns and be sloped down toward those pilings, so they'll be lower than these. But I'm guessing, since they're two separate roofs completely, they'll probably do this one and then do that one later. Paint Man is still working on that. He's got a lot of it done, but he's still got a pile over there and a pile here to do. Actually, this is Boss Man here. Paint Man must be taking the breaks. He's the guy that did all the plates. He just finished that and must have took over for this guy. They did concrete the base of those ones around the corner and dug this out and they're making the beam for that. And again, it will just run over to that one, wrap around and go down that way. Here's the temporary toilet. Hey, that's not too bad a job, guys. Looks like they might have done this before. Not really much of a door. I'm not sure how they managed that. Oh, there's a nail in there. They hooked that, hooked that on. They left all their beer bottles here. Rocky and Cocky are gone. I'll probably be back in three weeks, though. So. You will see this plastic. This is why I was moaning about the plastic this morning. The whole intention of this plastic is to hold that moisture in there to not get them to dry so fast. And as I said earlier, it was cloudy and cool, so I don't think there's any harm done with them. I told Sumpit, this is when the house really starts to take shape now. You got the beams up, and once the roof starts going on, you'll really be able to see the true shape of the house and again it's it's not a big house but i've said that six times already so the columns look pretty straight check the other way 
Looks pretty darn good to me. The roof team have got putting up the fourth beam right now, the ring beam. Looks like the roof team's wrapping it up for the day. Um, they got all the main beams in, which would be all these flat level ones. They got the two main upright beams for the peak, which is going to be that big one across the top. And then, then they got one rafter put in here. The, all the rest of that jinky looking stuff is just temporary supports and walk place, uh, little walk structures for them. So that will be the main beam across the top, the very top one up there. And then from that end, it will go out to that corner, this corner, that end will go to that corner, that corner. So it'll be a four sided roof. And then this roof will tie into these beams right under there. And it will actually slope down, I think six inches across here. But from the outside, it'll look like a flat roof because of the way they trim it out. In my opinion, they got quite a bit done today. I need to be out of here in about 15 minutes. I just got a call from the brother-in-law. He's got something at the house. He wants me to weld for him. It's supposed to be at Eddie's at five. So I'm kind of getting squeezed for time here. So I got to get back over there right now, get my stuff packed up. I'll get the truck loaded, get it pulled over here. Good morning from beautiful paradise, Thailand. Well, guys working on this beam, they'll have this here in another probably an hour. Guessing they'll form it up. I'm not real sure what they're doing here. I was over there laying in the desk. We're watching them, double stacking C channels, tacking those together. And then they're gonna butt weld them, it looks like. So it looks like a pair, a pair, a pair, and then a pair on top. They'll end up with four double beamed, four double C channeled, which I'm gonna guess are probably gonna run from the end of that ridge beam up there out to the corner. That's my guess. I don't know what else would need to be that long because it's going to be a four-sided roof. Okay, so I think I figured these out. I think these are going to be what I'll call rafters that are running from this angled piece straight out. Straight line that way, but it's going to be a compound angle to get this end tied into it. They've got this rebar done here. As you can see, it's well off the dirt. Good job, guys. These guys have started putting some of the rafters up on that side. I think they're getting ready to put the corner beam up here. So I kind of wanted to come over here and grab this on video while they were doing it. He's got a compound angle on the end of it going up there. <laughs> Fence teams getting all the shuttering or porn, whatever you want to call it, laid out for the lower beam. Um, I asked him if they would be doing concrete tomorrow, and he said he don't know. And who and I, the boss man hasn't been around, so I can't ask him. The roof is really taking shape now. You see, they got all the corner beams in place. They're working on the rafters. There's still a couple odd support pieces in there that need to come out. Start tying them in at that compound angles or compound miters, whatever you want to call them. We saw them cutting earlier. We'll have to come down off this beam here. So they haven't welded this into these rafters on either side yet. So they're going to get them all tacked in up above or welded in up above. Then they'll come down here, get the spacing and um, weld them in. And then they'll cut them for the soffit. All right, it's hot out here in the sun. Um, so I'm going to get back over to my office. So the fence guys have got all the forms laid out here. Um, they're down around the corner, latching them all together and leveling. 
I have to believe they'll be ready for concrete tomorrow. I don't know if they'll try it today because I haven't seen the boss around, but I'm pretty sure they'll be pouring concrete in there tomorrow. Um, and I've already confirmed the whole thing's off the ground, so shouldn't have any issues this trip. So the roof guys are really tearing it up. You can see they've got all the corner beams in, putting rafters in. You can see they've added some vertical supports to that ridge beam up there that the rafters are laying on. They put two more of those in, which I was glad to see because I was wondering because that last one on the end was sitting there on mid-span and I didn't think that looked right. But they got another one here right above the column, so we're good mid-span here. So I think they're good there. Um, they've got on both ends, they have center two rafters in place. Um, the reason they're spaced like that is if this is an eight and a half meter wall, so if you go go on one meter centers, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four and a half meters right down the center, the other end's the same way. They've also added some mid-span beams here, here, and two on the other end. I'm not sure if they're going to do that in those center two rooms. Um, I haven't looked at the plan. I'll just watch them as we go. Once they get all these rafters in, which they should get most of them today, maybe not all of them. Everything else that goes in is compound miter, so it slows down a little bit. They'll have to come through and cut all these rafters off. You can see they're all different lengths right now. But they'll come through and cut them all vertical to the ground, and then they'll hang a uh, fascia hanger on the end of there that a fascia will go on later on. At least I think that's what will happen. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the plan. I'm just going off what I know from the West. So anyhow, good progress on the roof. Good to see it's really taking shape now when you get back and look at it, which we'll do here in just a second. So I can really see the four sides of the roof now. So I just ran into town a minute ago and from the road over there, it actually looks like a house now with all that roof structure in there. So yeah, progress in paradise. So it's about four o'clock. These guys usually check out at five. Um, you can see they got this corner beam, all the rafters tied in here and across there. They got the other corner beam completed as well. They just moved down there. Took them about 40 minutes each on these two. So I don't think they're going to get them all done tonight, but they'll get that one done and maybe get started on that one. They stick around late. They might get them both, but I don't think they will. But I'm laying over there looking at this. Now I'm wondering if mid-span on these uh, rafters, if they won't put something up to support some weight in the middle of those. Because it just seems like a, a pretty long span across there to not put some kind of support to hold the weight of those shingles. But we'll see. Like everything, I'm just guessing. I don't know. Fence guys are just working on setting those forms, staking them in. Like I said, I'm sure they'll be ready for concrete tomorrow sometime truck will be able to just drive right along the edge of it and just run it out another beautiful morning in paradise oh let me get over here where the sun ain't in the camera as i surmised yesterday i was wondering if they would support the centers of these rafters but as you can see they put a c channel all the way across all of them a couple supports down to the here i'm gonna guess i'll put one more there but yeah as i said they got all the rafters on except this corner right here and that's about a 40 minute job based on what I saw yesterday on these other three corners. They get those on, get another one of these supports across this side, which looks like it's laying right here above my head right now. And I think they'll be ready to start putting the strips to hold the shingles on. Of course, they got to cut off the ends too yet, but there's a couple of braces in there they got to pull out. But they'll definitely get the heavy steel done today because this is all the heavy steel they got left. Um, this here, these little ones here, I think are going to be for the uh, fascia hangers hang a fascia along there and then the soffit will go from that fascia the bottom of the fascia back to the side of the house with all of that i'm going to wrap up this portion of the build with the heavy steel i want to thank all our new subscribers our long-term subscribers and thank you for joining us at paradise in thailand